Hello students, uh, welcome to this uh, heat transfer. Now today we are going to discuss uh, module 2 that is uh, fins that is uh, extended surfaces. Okay. So extended surfaces is nothing but a solid that experience energy transfer by conduction within its boundaries as well as energy transfer by convection and or radiation between its boundaries and the surrounding. So if you take an example of any uh, example for IC engine or the body of the engine, it might have uh, extended the surfaces. The, what is the purpose of extending that surfaces is that according to Newton's law of pulling, if you are increasing the area, the rate of heat transfer is more. That is the uh, equation itself says that Q is equals to H A delta T where A is the surface area. As surface area is increases, obviously that rate of heat transfer also increases. Okay, here one strut is used to provide mechanical support to walls at different temperatures. A temperature gradient in the x direction sustain heat transfer by conduction internally at the same time, there is a general energy transfer by convection from the surfaces. Okay, you can observe the uh, temperature profile here. T1 and T2 are uh, profile you can see. Okay, and uh, here T1 temperature at the base and this external surface as T2, it is exposed to the atmosphere, and uh, here the convective heat transfer is taking place. Okay, so and also air uh, heat transfer coefficient H is also given. Most of the frequent applications is one in which an extended surface is used specifically to enhance the heat transfer rate between solid and adjoining the fluid called as fin. Okay, so if you consider one uh, plain wall, okay. Uh, having a base temperature, surface temperature Ts and area A and uh, heat transfer rate that is HA into Ts minus T infinity and T infinity and TH are temperature at the ambient and heat transfer coefficient. So as I said it is according to Newton's law of cooling the convection heat transfer is equals to HA Ts minus T infinity. Okay. For a fixed surface uh, temperature, there are two ways to enhance the rate of heat transfer. Okay. If you want to increase the fluid velocity, the cost of the blower or pump, the power, that is the T infinity could be reduced. Okay. Kidding or not? So, if you want to increase the velocity of the fluid, the cost of the blower means you have to uh, add some energy sources to increase rate of uh, cooling. So these are some uh, empirical uh, the formulations are there and certain limitations also it is made for this uh, fins. What is the limitation is the many situations would be encountered in which increasing H to the maximum the possible value is either insufficient to obtain a desired heat transfer rate or associated cost are privately high. Okay, and even if you see the multiple uh, step of fins, uh, it also be increasing the rate of heat transfer. So how about this increasing surface area for the convection? So providing the fins that are extended from the wall to the surrounding fluid. So fin material, how it should be? So for the K of the fin material has strong effect on the temperature distribution along the fin and therefore influences the degree to which the heat transfer rate is enhanced. Ideally, the fin material should have a large K to minimize the temperature variations from the base to tip. And in the limit of infinite thermal conductivity, the entire fin would be at temperature of the base surface, thereby providing maximum possible heat transfer enhancement. And one more material, how it should be, the material should arrangement of cooling engine heads on the motorcycle and lawn mowers. And for cooling electric power transformers, okay, you can see this, uh, uh, how the applications of IC engine would be taken place. So in case of IC engines and electrical circuits, electronic circuits and transformers and air conditioners, 
okay these are all the uh, applications for the fin even the tubes with attached fins used to promote heat exchange between air and working fluid of an air conditioner okay let us discuss what are the different configuration of fins so you can see the a b c d figures are shown the first a one is a rectangular type of fin and second one is triangular fin the shape of this uh, fin is triangular and next one is annular fin and the last one is pin fin so depending upon the applications and design requirement we are going to use this kind of fins for extended surface the direction of heat transfer from the boundaries is perpendicular to the principal direction of the heat transfer to the solid next how we are going to analyze the fin so that is what uh, derivation is the very important to determine the heat transfer rate associated with the fin we must obtain the temperature distribution along the fin so example if you consider the circular fin okay so this is an one uh, example type of fin a circular fin which we are consider for uh, analysis purpose we have taken one element for the analysis okay that is da area surface area and the heat is moving in one direction we assume that unidirectional flow that is that's why qx and when it is come out to this uh, surface that it becomes qx plus dx and that uh, surface is dx uh, and uh, convective heat transfer coefficient is coefficient is uh, dq and a is the area okay we have a certain set of assumptions while uh, getting the temperature distribution of the fin okay so first one is a one dimensional heat transfer that is a longitudinal in a direction of x in practice the fin is a uh, thin and the temperature changes in the longitudinal direction are much larger than the transverse directions and second one is a steady state okay and third one is k is constant it means thermal conductivity of that material throughout the material it should be same constant and there is no heat internal heat generation and negligence of the radiation from the surface so in this case uh, only conduction convection we are going to consider the uh, radiation of this uh, case is uh, negligible and the rate at which the energy is converted to the fluid from the any point on the fin surface must be balanced by the rate at which energy is reached that point due to the conduction in the transverse direction okay and last one is heat transfer coefficient is uniform over a surface so these are all some certain set of assumptions made before deriving the equations okay let us we will derive the equation for the fin okay what is the heat transfer in the direction of x that is qx plus dx plus d q convection so there are two part uh, mode of heat transfer one is conduction and as well as convection by taking the energy balance equation we are writing this one and according to conduction the newton's law uh, that is the fourier law of heat conduction we can write the qx is equal to minus k a dt by dx where dt by dx temperature gradient and a is the cross sectional area and where k is the thermal conductivity and uh, minus n is uh, indicates that it is in temperature okay direction of decrease in temperature so this cross section area is uh, vary with the x value so next uh, we have to calculate uh, find out what is qx plus dx if it is the elemental uh, thing uh, that is dx element is a uh, element so uh, thickness so what would be the rate of heat transfer that is qx plus dx is equal to q plus dqx divided by dx into dx and the convection heat transfer uh, convection heat transfer is h das into t minus t infinity here the surface area we are consider very small that is das and h is constant over the surface and t and t infinity are variable okay so we can further we can write this equation as d square t divided by dx square plus 1 by a dac divided by dx into 
minus uh, dt by dx minus of uh, 1 divided by a k into h dA by dx into t minus infinity. Okay, so now we have to find out what is the base temperature of that fin. So if you either you consider for the uh, rectangular fin or circular fin, only the thing is area is very important only in this case. So any geometry of the uh, heat transfer equipment you take is a vital, vital role for contribution of the heat of heat transfer because area decides the rate of heat transfer. Here if you consider for the rectangular uh, cross section, we are consider perimeter is 2w plus 2t. But in case of circular section, the perimeter is pi d. So this is how the area is changing. So AC is uh, wt and here in case of uh, uh, circular fin, pi d square by 4. Okay, And AC is a constant that is dAc by dx is equal to 0 and dA by dx is equal to perimeter and further we can write this equation as d square t by dx square minus hp by ka into t minus t infinity is equals to 0. So what the equation we have got that is a homogeneous second order differential equation that is d square t by dx square minus hp by ka t minus t infinity is equal to 0 it is a non the homogeneous equation and also second order differential equation. To get the solution of this, so we have to substitute uh, general to get a general solution of this. So what we have to do, substitute theta x as tx minus t infinity. Now we can write it as d, t, t, d theta by dx is equal to dt by dx. Further we can express as d square theta by dx square minus m theta is equal, m theta square is equal to m theta is equal to 0. So, where m square is equal to hp by k a. Okay. The above equation is a linear homogeneous second order differential equation as I told with constant coefficients. So, general solution of this above equation that d square theta by dx square minus m square uh, m square theta is equal to 0. For that, so this is the general uh, solution as you have studied in the previous uh, semesters uh, in maths uh, that is a uh, differential equations. So by the knowing that concept we can solve this equation and we got the general solution plus theta of x is equal to c1 into e to the power of mx plus c2 into e to the power of minus mx. So these are all uh, general solution and uh, we have to find out the, the arbitrary constant c1 and c2 by putting the boundary conditions. Okay, specified boundary condition for the base of the fin. So when it is a x is at 0, then theta of 0 is equal to tb minus t infinity. We also write it as theta b. And second condition is when a pin tip we consider that is at x is equal to l, then it is corresponding to the four different physical conditions that is uh, h at fin tip, second one is adiabatic condition at the tip, and c1 is a prescribed temperature maintained at the tip fin tip. And fourth one is defined infinite fin, means long fin. So up to this much, uh, we can uh, at x is equal to 0, it is common for all. But when it you take into the next level, means if you consider for the uh, fin tip at x is equal to L, it may be correspond to any one of the following different uh, cases, physical conditions. So you, now we are going to calculate or express the uh, equation in depending upon the cases or conditions. H at fin tip, second one is adiabatic condition at the fin tip and third one is specified or prescribed temperature maintained at the tip and last one is long fin. So first uh, for the long fin so at uh, L is equal tends to infinity and theta L is tends to 0. And for the adiabatic condition, d theta by dx is equal to at x is equal to l, it becomes 0. So likewise, uh, we have to put in the condition for getting the expression. Let us we discuss one, one of the case that is the h from the fin tip. So here the characteristic length we consider as l plus ac by p. So for this, if you put in this uh, condition, so the temperature distribution becomes, after simplifying this, so corrected length, what it becomes, 
it is cos hyperbolic m into lc minus x divided by cos hyperbolic m into lc so this is how we get the temperature distribution and uh, rate of heat transfer through the fin this fin okay it becomes under square root of hp by sorry under square root of hp ka theta b tan hyperbolic m lc so where lc is the rectangular fin so that is l plus t by 2 uh, for if it is a cylindrical fin it is l plus d by 4 this is the conditions so i have shown some example some summary brief about the uh, different cross sectional of the fin so here are the boundary condition okay for infinite fin at x is equal to l so theta l of is 0 and uh, theta b is becomes e to e power of minus mx and qf is capital m so these are all uh, different uh, uh, temperature distribution along the uh, as well as the heat loss for the fin for the uniform cross section so now let us we can, uh, calculate what is fin efficiency so the fin efficiency is very important role uh, while designing the equipment because how much uh, how much it should be long and uh, how much it should be insulate so all these factors should be uh, considered uh, here one uh, example surface with without fin and with fin so what will be the efficiency so without fin uh, only that uh, base area that is the w into t will be there but if you consider with fin so that is two times half width into length length plus width into thickness so it becomes two times of width into length okay these are the modified uh, things in the above figures so here some of the things we should know that uh, for the fin efficiency the temperature of the fin will be a tb at uh, fin base and gradually decreases towards the fin tip and second one is convection from the fin surface causes the temperature any cross section to drop the somewhat from the mid section towards outer surfaces so however the cross section area of the fin is usually very small and thus the temperature at any cross section can be considered to be uniform also the fin tip can also be assumed to be convenience and simplicity to the ability adiabatic by using the corrected length for the fin instead of actual length okay so these are some uh, observation we made and finally if you want to calculate maximum fin uh, fin heat transfer so it becomes h into a fin that is area of the fin into tb minus t infinity so the fin efficiency we can define as in reality the temperature of the fin will drop wrong with the fin and thus the heat transfer from the fin will be less because of the decreasing temperature difference towards the tip that is Tx minus T infinity. So to the account of the effect of this decrease in temperature on the heat transfer we define the efficiency of the fin as Q fin dot by Q fin maximum means the actual heat transfer rate from the fin divided by ideal heat transfer rate from the fin if the entire fin were at base temperature so this is how uh, we can define the efficiency of the fin see example uh, so for ideal fin uh, it is an ideal fin so at any point throughout the fin the temperature at any point is same example it is 80 degree centi grade at the base at the till at the tip also it becomes 80 degrees centigrade but in actual case it is not uh, same or in practical case it is not same as in the base temperature it may be 80 at the tip of the fin it becomes 55 56 like that so by taking this ratio so we may get the efficiency of the fin next fin efficiency for uniform cross sectional here these are some cases as i told uh, these are the efficiency if it is a long fin so we can write it as 1 by ml if it is adiabatic at the tip so we can use formula as tan hyperbolic ml in divided by ml if it is a uh, convected at the tip tan hyperbolic ml divided by 
एम एल सो वेर एल इज अ कैटरीस्टिक लेंथ सो फिन एफिशियंसी सो द प्रॉपर लेंथ ऑफ द फिन हियर दे है गिवन सो एग्जाम्पल फॉर एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसिडरेशन ऑफ द डिजाइन ऑफ फिन सर्फेस इज सेलेक्शन ऑफ प्रॉपर लेंथ ऑफ द फिन नॉर्मली वॉट एपन द लॉन्गर द फिन द लॉन्गर द हीट ट्रांसफर Uh, and thus the higher the rate of heat transfer from the fin but also larger the fin the bigger mass the higher the price that is also we have to consider if you want to extend the surface like uh, fin size so it may be uh, accumulation means uh, considered for the mass also if the mass increases means the material cost also high so and the larger the fluid friction also it may be occurs and be justified the analysis they added the benefits so out pay they added the cost and also the fin efficiency decreases the increase in fin length because of the decrease in fin temperature within the length these are all some uh, proper uh, uh, length of the fin efficiencies and here i have shown given some uh, charts the different uh, structures of the fin efficiency like the rectangular triangular parabolic profile so based on the profile we can uh, identify the efficiency of the fin along with the efficiency of the fin in percentage okay and another one is uh, for the annular fins for constant thickness so here the chart just for your reference i have shown here so these are all charts are available in the heat transfer data handbook so you can refer so that may be help in the solving the numericals and next concept is fin effectiveness so here fin effectiveness uh, can be judged based on the enhancement of the heat transfer related to the number of fin case okay uh, no uh, okay example uh, the q fin divided by q no fin so Uh, no fin uh, so we are comparing with the with fin and without fin so how what would be the effectiveness so that performance we can express that is qf divided by ha b into tb minus t infinity so where ab is the fin cross sectional area at the base so we can see this uh, figure comparing and uh, find out the what is the effectiveness so we have to take that both the rate of heat transfer with fin and no fin then only we come to know what is the effectiveness and there are some physical uh, effectiveness uh, significance if the fin is one effectiveness is one it indicates that addition to fin the surface does not affect the heat transfer at all that is heat conducted to the fin through the base area equal to the heat transfer from the same area that is ab to the surrounding medium so if the fin value effectiveness of the fin value is less than 1 it indicates that fin is actually acts as a insulation slowing down the heat transfer from the surface this situation can occur when the fin made for low thermal conductivity are used okay so it be, uh, it becomes uh, suppose fin effectiveness value more less than 0.1 so we treated as it is uh, lower thermal conductivity of they are used and that such conditions we have we consider for this uh, uh, effectiveness that is less than 1 if it is greater than 1 it indicates that uh, enhancing the heat transfer from the surface however users fins cannot be just justified unless effectiveness of the fin is sufficiently larger than 1 or 1 or greater than 1 or 2 okay fin surfaces are designed on the basis of max maximizing the effectiveness of the specified cost of the minimizing cost of the desired effectiveness so here the uh, some relations between uh, efficiency of the fin and effectiveness of the fin so by taking this both effectiveness uh, definition so we can write the equation so and modify it and we will get this equation that is effectiveness of the fin is equals to efficiency of the fin into area of the fin divided by divided by area of the base so here determined by the efficiency of the fin is uh, determined easily when effectiveness is known okay or vice versa even if you know the uh, effectiveness you can find out the efficiency 
so long uh, uniform cross section fin these are the equations okay and multiple fins again we can added the number of fins over the surface so these are the equations and these all the equations are available in the heat transfer but for you to understand the uh, concept i have explaining here with the figure but uh, these figures are uh, a formula and uh, expressions are available in the heat transfer data and book depending upon the problem you can choose the formulas so now the overall fin effectiveness uh, effectiveness we can consider here there is a q fin dot by q no fin so h into area of the unknown fin plus efficiency of the fin with the area of the fin into tb minus t infinity divided by h into area of the no fin tb minus t infinity so by considering this you can find out the overall effectiveness of the fin so if the fin is overall depends upon the number of fins per unit length as well as the effectiveness of the individual fin and it is also better measure of the performance than effectiveness of the fin of the individual okay this is up to this much it is related to the extended surface okay so thanks for watching this video and uh, next topic we'll see in the next video